When deep space exploration ramps up, it'll be the corporations that name everything. The IBM Stellar Sphere, the Microsoft Galaxy, Planet Starbucks. Space is no longer the sole domain of governments and incumbent aerospace and defense companies. Technological advances in rocket manufacturing, propulsion, and launch have made it easier and less expensive to venture into space. SpaceX was the first private company to launch a spacecraft into orbit and return it safely to Earth. Today, SpaceX is charging clients $67 million per launch of the Falcon 9. The involvement of an array of competing commercial companies backed by billions of dollars of venture financing has turned the space race into the space economy. The space economy can be broadly defined as the full range of activities that create value and benefits for humans, while exploring, researching, understanding, managing, and using space. Technological advances have allowed startups with little capital investments to enter the industry, developing everything from 10 by 10 centimeter miniature satellites to 3D printed rockets. Governments also see space as an opportunity and are investing in it. In August 2023, India's Chandrayaan-3 was the world's first spacecraft to land on the South Pole of the Moon. In India, the successful landing led to a collective national celebration. However, such events are rare. The unforgiving environment of space exploration is matched by the harsh financial reality of developing space technologies, which has made acquisitions of complementary companies strategic suppliers and partners more likely. As the number of satellites are increasing in the coming years, we will also see market growth in data platforms and other space application services. Services that use data gathered by satellites in orbit, namely communications, navigation and Earth observation applications, will experience the biggest growth in global revenues. In the future, space will also help us solve problems closer to home. For example, asteroid mining could help compensate for the shortfall in critical minerals on Earth. NASA's recovery of a sample from the Bennu asteroid shows real innovation in this area. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, Airbus, L3 Harris, Lockheed Martin, and OneWeb will continue dominating the market However, Chinese companies such as Space Pioneer and Galaxy Space will provide competition for Western incumbents in the coming years. Space launches used to be rare, memorable events of global significance, such as the Apollo 11 mission that landed on the moon in 1969. In the future, the launch of rockets capable of taking satellites into orbit will become far more commonplace. <laughs>